One of the biggest differences between my time at Porsche with Sandrock is basically that in Sandrock all your machines function with water. If you don't have any water, your machines won't run. There are two main ways that you can collect some water in Sandrock. Now first off is by collecting dew. Now dew is basically a resource that you can get by cutting down bushes like the yak thorn bush, the yellow lavender bush or just the cacti or trees. Now the problem with the cacti and the trees, basically whenever you try cutting them down, well then people will come by, they will penalize you by losing some relationship points with that specific person. So for that reason, I suggest that you limit yourself to the yakthorn bushes, to the yellow lavender, and also these really small cacti, the ball cactuses. Just cut these down to get some dew. But you can't keep doing this in long term, so I really suggest that you head to the research center with 8 data disks, and you can find their C. So you may want to research the dew collector. Now this is basically a machine that you can build yourself, so just give your 8 data disks to C. He's going to research it and after about 3 in-game days you can get the blueprints. Now you can just create them at your assembly station and then you can just place them down at your yard and you're going to get some dew easy without wasting some stamina. In addition, you may also want to buy the perk, the water conservation level 2 in the workshop skill tree. Now right now you need about 10 dew to actually create one water, but actually if you have this perk it will only cost you 8 dew, so that's going to require a little bit of less resources to create some water for your machines. And the second way to get some water is the easiest way and that is just to buy it at Waterworld. Now Waterworld is basically at a water tower really close to the Civil Corps building, so there you can just go buy some water and luckily the first 20 units of water that you're going to buy are a lot cheaper than they will be after those. Now next we may want to talk about the easiest ways to get some wood in my time at Santa Rock, which is pretty difficult because, well, let's face it, it's a desert. Now I will explain all that in this video right here, but don't click on it just yet. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on everything Sandrock related. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.